Hey guys! Now, before I get into showing you how to make an awesome bar of soap, I have a couple of announcements. First off, I did not get Phoenix Rising. It was very, very sad for me. That morning, I was out in the middle of the desert in a dark canyon and had no cell service, so I was unable to get Lush then. And then when I got home, I tried again and all of the Phoenix Rising was sold out. So I'm very, very sad. Also, I have canceled my P.O. box. So I think that the 31st here will be the very last day for the P.O. box. So if you guys want to send me anything, I would do it really quickly before the 31st. I will be getting a new box soon. I just don't think I want to go through USPS anymore. I'll figure out the details and I will let you guys know when I get something else. Lastly, I went into one of the Lush stores today to get more scrubby and they are all sold out. I went online and they are completely out, so no more scrubby. I completely missed on that too. So because I was really upset about that, I decided to order some stuff off the UK site and I got two Father's Day things and then two Lush exclusive bath bombs. So in about a month, we will be able to demo those. Now for what you guys have been waiting for, as one of my subscribers, Mary, puts it, this is the Lush Soapenstein's Monster. Are you guys ready to see how this became this? P.S. I will have a poll near the end of this video where we will kind of figure out closer of what we want to call each other. Okay, so these are the items that you're going to need. Obviously, you need all of your your soap chunks, whether it's sample soaps or just like massive chunks that you can't really use anymore that don't want to suds up. You also want a knife for the bigger chunks. And this is the most important part of the whole thing is that you want something to put your soaps into so you can cram it in the microwave. This is a silicone I have no idea what it is actually, but it's like a cup of some sort. I don't know. My mom gave it to me and since, you know, we're we're going to go off of kind of what she had for instructions, which isn't very good instructions, but uh, yeah, it's just a silicone thingy. If you have cupcake liners that are silicone, these would work too if you want to use like little samples like just to have like a small chunk of soap. But because I have a ton of samples here, I'm gonna go all out and we're gonna make one massive chunk and see how well that works out. So, let's get unraveling. A tip my mom said to do is not keep the same soaps together. So we're gonna want to separate these and probably chop them down a little bit just so your soap is gonna be different, not clumps of the same thing in the same section. Unless that's exactly what you're going for, then sure, pile them all together. But I want my soap to be all sorts of rainbowy colors, so I'm gonna separate them. But for the best way of getting them to dissolve, we are going to want to cut them into smaller pieces, like so. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so this soap is sea vegetable from Lush and it is extremely old and it's been used to the point where it won't like bubble up anymore so I'm totally assuming that this one's gonna be difficult anyways but yeah this is what happens when your soap is old. Now you have your little chunks of soap. What you want to do is kind of lay out your design of how you want to do this, but do it obviously in here. What I'm planning on doing, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well, is make them all kind of separated from each other. So 
parsley porridge goes there, I'm gonna put parsley porridge over here. Karma's over there, I'm gonna put karma over here. And that's how I'm gonna go about this situation. I'm gonna place them all in here and we'll see how it goes from there. So this is all of the little chunks in my silicone cube thingy. Now we are going to pop it in the microwave. Uh, if you have a normal microwave, I would say do it in 30 second intervals to check on it and see how melted it is. But if you have a possessed microwave like I do, where it just wants to either boil everything or not do anything at all, then I would suggest like 20 seconds each so you can really babysit it. So let's do this. Is it smoking? No! Really? Is it? I don't think so. I'm like already stressed at 30 seconds. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, is that just the silicone? Oh yeah, it's just like... Okay. So, this could be boiling hot. The bottom is definitely hot. really it's like it didn't even the bottom is like so hot right now ew I can feel it it's mushing all right so like I said just keep it in 30 second intervals my fingers are burning off oh my god okay maybe okay. silicone is oven proof like you can put them in ovens that's why they are cupcake liners and whatever the hell that cubie thing is it's, it's okay, it won't catch on fire, but it does get very, 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 very hot, so that's why I'm saying, like, check it often. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do about this situation. <laughs> it smells really good, that's for sure. Like, it smells so good. Yeah. Like, where are our oven mitts? Like, seriously? Ah, ah. That looks disgusting. It looks like freaking cheese broccoli soup. Can I get like a spatula and like smoosh it down? Yeah, that's very hard. Is it? Yeah, that's all. Uh... Ew. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks like so gross. <laughs> Shush. It is. Should melted. I do it more? I don't know. I don't think those pieces are gonna melt because they're so old. You're right, that's all sea vegetable in yeah, there. That's having that there. Pro Oh, look at that. So that is 30 seconds and 30 seconds, so obviously a minute. And it decided to like go all up like in the sides here. And it looks really disgusting. But like I said, that sea vegetable is so old that I didn't think it was gonna melt very well, and it clearly didn't. I think that these, this like small little chunk, I don't really want to touch it because it's so hot right now. Okay, you can. Um, I think that's maple, which is also really, really old. Can you like stop messing with my soap? <laughs> so now what you want to do is put this disgusting glob into the freezer and let it get really cool and I will see you guys here in a little bit. I don't got it. I don't got it. Oh god. Are you watching me? Ah. Ah. <laughs> and
And while you wait, you can just go ahead and enjoy a cupcake. It looks so gross. Clearly, the Miranda soap took over everything in here, like color-wise, but scent-wise, uh, my microwave reeks of karma, so I was right about that. Um, it's only been an hour, and it's it's like frozen. There's, there's just no way. So uh, get a butter knife, I guess and try and get it out. I don't know, my mom just said that like if you like maneuver it enough, it'll come out, but I think you actually gotta kinda like get in here. This looks like super primitive. Oh god, did I just, okay. But, I can't think of any other way to get it out. Mom, <laughs> I get it out. Oh my gosh, I, I got it. That looks disgusting. I mean, it's kind of cool, but like, it's pretty gross looking. <laughs> it does look like a cage. Let's cut it and see how it looks. See, that looks cool. And that's all sea vegetable. <laughs> Overall, I think this is like a really good idea, especially if you have like itty bitty pieces of soap that you don't want to throw away, but can't get to uh, bubble up anymore. I think this is a fantastic idea. Um, it, isn't obviously as pretty as normal Lush soap, but uh, it works. So as you guys can see, it's not that difficult to make your own little Lush soap compile. Note that if you do use karma, even just like the smidgen amount of karma, your whole entire bar will smell like karma. And your kitchen, everything in that vicinity will be karma. I do want to make a note that that little silicone cube thing my mom got from Target a while back. It's probably not there anymore because she got it on one of those like dollar bin things. And I believe it was supposed to be a pen holder. But as you can tell, any type of silicone container will work just fine. It's only been about a day, but this thing is pretty solidified, pretty good. It does soap up really well, even though like in the video, you can't really tell, it's not that bubbly, but it really is, it's lush soap. I will start using this like 24 seven, and I will let you guys know how quickly the thing deteriorates. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.